This is the 15th video in my series on alternating current. In this video, I'm going to take a look at voltage and current in a circuit in both time and phasor domains, but this time we'll be looking at a capacitor in the circuit. You will find this topic along with my others in my course entitled Basic Fundamentals of AC Circuit Analysis. You can access this and my other courses on my stand store at this web address. Let's revisit a DC circuit momentarily and uh, have a look at how a capacitor reacts to being charged. We know that the voltage across a capacitor is dependent on its charge. That is, the voltage across the capacitor is given by Q all over C, where Q is the charge and C is the capacitance and VC is the voltage across the capacitor. That equation can be rewritten as Q is equal to C times VC, which are, have the same variables. Now, at time, if we measured the charge and the voltage at time 1, we would have this equation, Q1 is equal to the same capacitor of, with the voltage at, uh, the voltage at uh, time equals 1. If we measured the voltage again at time 2 as things are charging, we would have a second value of charge which would be equal to C, the capacitance times the voltage at that time as well. So if we essentially subtract uh, equation 2 from equation 1, we could say that Q2 minus Q1 all over T2 minus T1, which is equal to delta Q over delta T, is equal to the same voltage difference. In other words, as the charge changes over a period of time, the voltage given by the equation Q is equal to CV sub C would give us delta V over delta T, the same delta time. But Q over T, by definition, is equal to the current I charging the capacitor, which still is equal to C times V subscript C all over T or in terms of calculus, which means the same thing. The flow of electrons through a capacitor is directly proportional to the rate of change of voltage across the capacitor. Now let's change the voltage source from a DC supply to an AC supply. Keeping in mind, the flow of electrons through the capacitor is directly proportional to the rate of change of voltage across the capacitor. This opposition to voltage change is another form of reactance. This is similar to an inductor, but with the roles of the current and voltage descriptions reversed. In this case, the current through the capacitor reacts against the change in the voltage across it. Therefore, the instantaneous current is zero whenever the instantaneous voltage is at a peak. Zero change or level slope on a voltage sine wave. And the instantaneous current is at a peak whenever the instantaneous voltage is at a maximum change. The points of steepest slope on a voltage wave where it crosses the zero line. The results are the same for the negative side of the waves. This means that the voltage wave is 90 degrees out of phase with a current wave. Looking at the graph, the current wave seems to be, or seems to have a head start on the voltage wave. The current leads the voltage or the voltage lags behind the current. If we draw the phasers for this voltage and current, it will look like this. 
This video is part of my Electrical Technical Information Series. In this series, I'll be covering essential topics to help you understand electrical systems. Be sure and stay tuned, as I will also, from time to time, be reviewing electrical products that, in my opinion, are worthy of paying attention to. This address will give you access to the supplier of the aforementioned type products. It is also a connection to obtain a free copy of my 24-page three-phase transformer workbook, which will serve as a quick reference and reminder of technical calculations that you may need. This address, of course, is case sensitive. I'll spell it out and make sure that you have it right. Everything up to the first number is lowercase. That is lowercase https colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash three, then uppercase u, uppercase g, a lowercase j, uppercase b, uppercase i, and lowercase g. One of those amazing and versatile products is the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, which can be modified to suit any homeowner's needs, operating virtually silent, and when paired with the EcoFlow Smart Home Panel 2 is extremely versatile. The EcoFlow Home Panel 2 ties any and all of your standby power equipment together and will control them efficiently. It will even control your connection to the utility grid to make sure you're only using the least expensive power, switching to your standby power during those expensive time of use rates. In order to view the full range of EcoFlow's products and obtain a free copy of my three-phase transformer workbook, check into this web address and simply provide your email address which will guide you to the browse the full extent of their products. There is no cost or commitment for viewing and by providing your email address it will allow me to keep you posted on future videos, courses and EcoFlow products.